Hi everyone, hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Uh, we're between Christmas and New Year at the moment and I've got a bit of time in the workshop so I've started to look at some of the projects that I'm going to be doing this year. One of the uh, main projects is going to be the Hilux build. Um, I've not done one of these before. I've worked on lots of other people's which is great um, but I fancy doing one myself and one of the things I'm going to be doing is building the chassis from scratch. The RC four-wheel drive chassis is not bad, um, but if you want to do any mods to anything, um, they're virtually impossible or re you know really hard work to to do anything to. So I thought, well, you know, got got the, the facilities. Let's have a go at making a chassis. So a few of the bits that I've gathered together um, to get going. Obviously, I've got this body, which is one of the the replica um, ones available from AliExpress around 50 pounds 60 70 dollars uh scale wise you know pretty pretty good i don't think there's a lot in it to be fair um you know i've done quite a bit on the other ones and they're very similar um got a hole in the bed which i need to sort out and a hole on the bonnet which obviously would be for mounting um, but it comes with an interior which is really nice that's going to be uh, easy to get painted up um it's got all the nice little trim bits on it it comes with the wing mirrors etc like you would expect uh, wipers in there as well and i think there's something to do with the door handles um so yeah pretty much comes ready to go so some of the bits that i've gotten ready for it just take the body off and um, this is my uh, welding stroke jig table that i've fabricated uh, I'm still making clamps and bits and bobs for it. So these are some of the clamps that I've made. Uh, everything's going to be interlocking. So you, you just pop that into the hole. And then if you want to clamp something down, you just push down to it. Nip up the bolt. And there, that's fixed. That won't go anywhere. Uh, this is mainly for my welding. Um, but, um, you know, I could, I could use it for... For mocking up as well um, but enough of that so a couple of bits i've got ready these are the aliexpress cnc yota axles um, went for these ones over the proper ones purely because they're cnc out of a billet they're not made from um you know i'll say poor cast you see a lot of them broken so you know there's something in that um read into that how you will I haven't used these and I haven't um, haven't seen anybody using these. Uh, certainly haven't heard of anything on the internet about people breaking them as such. A few people have commented about backlash, etc. Um, but whether or, whether it's not there or whether I'm very lucky, uh, these seem to be good. So I'm going to um, going to say that I'm, I've been very lucky uh, for now. Uh, another one of the options that I've got is one of these. Uh, low profile gearboxes again um, i've heard a lot about them i've asked a few people who tend to use this sort of thing and you know for the money i think they're very very good i think it was about 25 30 quid something like that um so probably 30 to 40 dollars on aliexpress um it's very simple just a series of small gears in here i've taken it apart all the gears are, not, are metal which is great the spur is plastic which is brilliant because obviously it's going to be quieter comes with a pinion as well for the motor uh, but the good thing with this i said low profile it is very low profile so if you took a trx4 gearbox for instance by the time you've gotten it mounted you know these are quite a big bulky item um, certainly when you're trying to build something scale and I mean you're not going to be able to see this but at the top of the pinion is about 52 millimeters so that's that's pretty good and width wise 82 something like that so again when you're trying to build a scale model um, it's very difficult to try and cram all these things in and my plan is to try and put this in such a position that I don't have to modify the interior or anything. So, um, you know, I've got the advantage if I'm making the chassis that I can move things forwards and backwards. I, I shall make the prop shafts. Um, I'll make everything that I can. So um, that's going to be the 
the gearbox and obviously you know consider that a transfer case as well um i've got a savox 1210 servo uh these are waterproof i use these in nigh on everything um you can also run them on 7.4 volt and uh you know there are other servos out there better ones um but you know i've used these for a long time and touch wood i've never i've never had a problem with one of these so um it's got a little bit of play in it now i might see if i can get hold of a gear set for it um but at the end of the day it didn't cost me a lot of money i bought a model recently that had loads of bits on it um partly for this uh for this build so um yeah so that's the steering servo and i've got on one of the earlier versions of the hobby wing axe system so this is the one with the separate speed control it's a 540 um lots of people like the bigger one the 550 and i do run uh the fusion pro in a couple of my models as well but i'm running one of these in the unimog and you know that's over five kilograms that model uh, and touch wood again i've had that three or four years um never had a problem with it and that's just on a 540 so fingers crossed all will be good there so that's going to be our motor combo so that's pretty much it for bits that i've gotten together for it at the moment um there's obviously lots of bits that i'm going to need along the build i've got i've stocked up on metal over over the christmas period um you know bit, bit, bits and bobs to use on it i'm still undecided whether to go something sort of scaly or off-roady i quite i quite fancy making one that's quite an extreme off-roader um but we'll see how that goes um i'm looking forward to sort of making all the suspension arms and things like that for it um i i, I love doing that you know figuring it out and uh and building it myself so that's that's those bits i've got some radio gear i mean I'm, that's pretty boring i'm not not going to go through that um got loads of leds and bits to put in for lights i'm not bothered about flashing lights and lights that come on and off remotely or anything like that i just like them to have headlights and tail lights uh, i think it looks cool um and that's it really so um i'd like you to follow the build i hope it's going to be interesting i will try and keep as many videos on as i can um it's, it's obviously very time consuming but I, you know i love doing this stuff and uh, i hope that you guys can follow me on the journey um just made uh, a thousand subs as well over the christmas period which is absolutely amazing and you know i look forward to the next step in my youtube um timeline i guess so thanks again hope you have a fantastic new year everybody has fun and i'll catch you in the next video